Hey Audings, it's your Ate Sapphire. I want to tell you about one of our sponsors before we get into this week's story. If you're like me and think buying bras is a nightmare, then let me tell you about Third Love. Third Love is an inclusive bra company. With 78 bra sizes, including their signature half cup sizes, it's one of the largest ranges in the industry. So no matter what size you are, Third Love has a bra made just for you. And with their online Fit Finder quiz, you can find your bra from the comfort of your home. So when I took the quiz, I answered questions about my breast shape and size and problems that I've had with most bras. After the quiz, I was recommended the Classic Contour Plunge Bra because it has memory foam inserts to even out my asymmetrical boobs. And I was not disappointed. Not only did it fit me, but the band is soft and stretchy, the straps don't slip, and there's no itchy tag. Third Love is so confident that you'll love your new bra that they give you 60 days to wear it and wash it. And if you still don't love it, you can return or exchange it for free. It's that easy. Third Love knows there's a perfect bra for everyone. So right now, they're offering Something Scary listeners 15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash SS. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? The J. The following is based on a true story submitted by Rama in Australia. Back when I was still in the eighth grade, I witnessed one of the worst things in my life. Before class, my best friend Sarah would meet me at my locker and we'd gossip and chat until first period, which we had together. And I remember this particular morning, she came up to my locker like usual, but she didn't seem like herself. I asked her if something was bothering her, but she didn't say much. She just sort of stared. I told her that if she wasn't feeling well, she should probably go home. Then the bell rang, and I began walking towards the direction of our first class. But she didn't follow me. I didn't want to be late, so I left without her. When I got to class, I told my teacher, Mr. Tamer, that Sarah wasn't feeling well and should probably go home. Sarah was his daughter. He thanked me for telling him, and just as he was about to leave the room to check on her, a booming voice came on the school intercom. Code black, I repeat, code black. We were used to lockdown drills. We had them throughout the school year, so everyone just thought it was one of those drills. And so Mr. Tamer locked our doors, and we all sat quietly in our seats. But all I could think about was Sarah. I hoped it really was just a drill and that she wasn't alone out there, in danger. Then the voice crackled again through the speakers. All of the religion teachers, please come to the office immediately. Mr. Tamir was one of them, and so he left without a word. In all of our previous drills, they'd never asked for the religious teachers before. I remember thinking it was very curious. About an hour had passed before the lockdown ended. It was definitely one of the longest ones we had. The voice on the intercom told us we were safe to move to our next period. We were all so tense and curious to find out what was going on. I remember leaving my classroom and seeing the other students pointing towards the windows. I followed their gestures and saw strange red smears on the glass. They almost looked like handprints, like someone was banging on the windows. But it didn't make sense. How could there be blood stains on every upstairs window in the building? It was so odd. The next day at school, Sarah wasn't there. I figured she probably still didn't feel well and was staying home to rest. But when I went to first period, we had a substitute teacher. Mr. Tamir didn't show up to school either. I decided that I was going to play hooky and check in on my friend. I snuck off campus and headed towards Sarah's house. When I got to the door, I rang the bell, but nobody answered. There were cars in the driveway, so I knew people were home. I rang again, still nothing. I knew Sarah's bedroom was on the ground level to the left, so I decided to go up to her window to see if I could get her attention. As I approached the window, I heard lots of shouting and loud noises. I pressed my face to the glass and saw Sarah kicking and screaming as her father shook her by the neck. I gasped loudly and he turned his head towards me. I ran around the house and through the front door. When I opened Sarah's bedroom door, she was no longer in her father's grasp. She was on the bed. 
motionless. Her father was crying over her body. I knelt down next to him and cried with him. He explained that one of the teachers had found Sarah banging her head on the windows at school and smearing the blood with her hands. Sarah said she had to because the gin inside of her wanted to eat her blood. When the teacher tried to help her, she saw the blank, empty look in Sarah's eyes and she knew she was far gone. I have been up all night and day praying and trying to save her, but I didn't know what I was doing. It wasn't supposed to go this far. This wasn't supposed to happen. Mr. Tamer continued through his tears. But at least now, at least now she is at peace. As most of us have found out the hard way, getting into debt is easy and getting out is hard, especially if your FICO score isn't great. Sky high interest rates can make it incredibly hard for you to break out of the revolving debt cycle. Thankfully, now there's Upstart.com, the revolutionary lending platform that offers smarter interest rates to help you pay off high interest credit card debt. The great thing about Upstart is that they believe you are more than just your credit score. They also take into consideration your job history and education. And once your loan is approved, most people get their money the very next business day. So you can start paying down your loans faster. I mean, I agreed to a crazy high amount of student loans when I was 18 and didn't know any better. So if you're like me, you should probably check out Upstart. See why Upstart is ranked number one in their category with over 300 businesses on Trustpilot. And hurry to upstart.com slash SS to find out how low your upstart rate is. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes and won't affect your credit. That's upstart.com slash SS. Thank you to all of our patrons. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarled. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time. Sweet dreams.